So this is going to be my October hits and misses, and there goes my phone. As you may have noticed, I did not do one of these videos last month because I kind of put myself on like a new makeup spending ban, so if it wasn't something I needed to repurchase or something that I didn't have like a million of because like I feel like there are a lot of warm toned colors like the Kat Von D Monarch palette or the Anastasia Am Resi palette out right now and I was like I need all of those and I'm thinking you have two palettes with colors like that exactly in it so I didn't really buy too much makeup at all like new fun things last month it was like repurchasing products that I love and have finally run out of last month. So, with that being said, this is going to be a lot of skincare, a lot of hair care, very few makeup items, and I really don't have a lot of stuff. Like, it's all contained in this little itty bitty box, pretty much. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and jump right into this. So first, we are going to start with hair care. I just completely smacked something off of my desk. Anyway. But I am very pleased this month because I feel like I have found a shampoo and conditioner that work very similar or as, yeah, I don't know, I am in love with the Carol's Daughter products, but I feel like I have found something that could maybe not make me feel like I need to go out and spend $14 to $16 on product. And that is the... Clairol Hair Food. This is the moisturizing one, and really quickly, um, I'm not gonna say that this is just, like, the same exact shampoo and conditioner as, like, Herbal Essences, but, um, I'm not gonna say it isn't either. I do really like this, and I feel like it is very moisturizing to my hair. I do definitely feel a difference in my hair since I have been using this. And it smells nice. It's not my favorite smell, but it smells nice. I really love the way the Carol's Daughter stuff smells, so I'm just going to compare everything to that. And I thought what was weird about this is it doesn't really give any kind of, like, description on the box. You know how sometimes, like, old school, or not old school, but other shampoos are like, it's infused with this to do this, and this for this, and this for this. This is like... Yeah, it's got honey and apricot fragrance in it, and it it's a luxurious shampoo that lathers richly. That's all it says on the packaging, so I just thought that was kind of funny, but I do really like this. Um, and then sticking in the vein of hair care, I have two products that I've been using through the ends of my hair to help kind of make my split ends and my just dried, gross ends not look so crunchy. You can't really tell right now because I have a black shirt on and my hair is quite dark, but it's a trick. Anyway, I have been using the Organics uh, Nourishing Coconut Oil Weightless Hydrating Oil Mist, and I really like to spray this on the ends of my hair, like when it's dry. Because after, like, not washing my hair for a couple days, the ends of my hair can just kind of feel not so nice because they are very dry. Even though, like, lately I haven't been using a lot of heating tools or anything. Heating tools? Heated hair tools? Curling iron? Straightening? I haven't really been doing anything like that to my hair because it is so damaged. So I've just really been letting it air dry, but still... After not putting, like, anything in it for two days, the ends of my hair are just gross. And this really helps to kind of maintain that. And once it soaks into my hair, it's not greasy, which is very nice. Another thing I've been using is this Marrakesh Ends Argon and Hemp Oil Therapy Split End Mentor and Pre Mender and Preventer. I put this in my hair when my hair is wet just let it really soak into the ends of my hair and then brush it through and it kind of gets in the rest of my hair as well and I love the way this smells like it smells like argan oil and hemp but the hemp scent is much stronger in this and I do really like the hemp scent more than the argan oil scent but I feel like this has really been helping my hair a lot I honestly have no idea where I got this product. It kind of just appeared in my stuff, and I was like, oh, let's try that. 
And yeah, and I'm missing something. I had one more hair care product. BRB. Okay, so the last hair care product is this Ava NYC, yeah, last hair care product. This Ava NYC therapy session hair mask. This has Caravas protein. Don't know what that is. And argan oil, and it says it's deeply conditions, repairs, and strengthens for all hair types. This says to put a generous amount in your hair, and you can use it as a weekly treatment or an everyday conditioner. I personally use this as a weekly treatment, and actually like two times a week. And then you leave it on for two to five minutes and rinse thoroughly either way you're using it. And this is a very thick, like, thick conditioner. Like, it's almost like a lotion. I prefer my conditioners that way because I feel like they're not going to leave my hair really greasy. But whenever something says apply a generous amount, I'm like, ooh, maybe not. But I went ahead and applied a decent amount of this to my hair. And it didn't come out greasy. It just felt so healthy and so luxurious and just nice and my hair is so damaged at the ends of my hair that it never just feels nice. But anyway, I saw this at Ulta the other day and I was like, oh, I have like a deluxe sample size of that sitting in my bathroom. Maybe I should try that. Because the tub of this stuff is like, it's obnoxiously large. And I really am considering purchasing this for my weekly deep conditioner treatment for my hair. Um, and this also smells like argan oil and it smells really good. These two together just smell like heaven for me. Um, favorite scent of the month? Who has that? Um, is the pumpkin pecan waffle scent from Bath and Body Works. If you have never smelt this, you need to go do it. And what's funny is I was not a big fan of this scent last year because they did have this last year at fall time. But for some reason this year, I am all about this. I have candles. I've got the portable scent thing in my car. I've got the soaps. It's it's a little ridiculous. So that is my favorite scent of the month. And then I have some skincare stuff and it is from Lush. And first is this little sample of the Ultra Bland Cleanser. I am really considering purchasing this to remove my makeup. It is pretty much like a hot cloth cleanser if you've ever used one of those. So you put this on your face completely dry and it starts to break down all of the makeup on your face and then you get a washcloth and run it under really hot water. Like not enough to burn your face but like just hot enough to where it'll start breaking down the oils in this and then you just wipe it all off your face and everything comes off your, off your face. You can even use this on your eyes. The guy that gave me the sample said it would even remove like mascara. Um, it does do a really good job at breaking down the mascara, but even when I go back in with eye makeup remover, I feel like I am still taking off a decent amount of mascara. But I am really thinking of purchasing this because it does a very, very good job at breaking down my makeup and taking everything off. And a couple of other things from Lush are these uh, toner waters. This one is the Aroma Water, and this is a gentle rose and lavender tonic for everyday use that helps hydrate, hydrate dry, sensitive, or mature skin without causing it to overreact. Um, I really like this. I use this in the morning after I've washed my face. I just spritz this on my face all over generously before I put my moisturizer on, and I really do see a difference in how my skin looks since I've been using this one and this one I'm going to talk about in a second. Because, I don't know what it is, but my skin just looks healthier, it looks more alive and just awake, and it really does look hydrated and healthy, I've noticed, since I have been using this. And the other one I have been using is the tea tree water, and this says an antibacterial tea tree astringent grapefruit and balancing juniper berry keep disasters at bay Benef beneficial for anyone with oily or spot prone skin if you have seen any of my past videos where i have serious breakouts around my chin that is really the only place that i really break out bad and mainly those are hormonal breakouts for me but they just seem to spread and get worse no matter what i do but since I have been using this, this is the only one I have gotten. I am not even kidding. This is the only really bad kind of breakout that I have gotten 
since I've been using this about halfway through the month. So I've been using this for two to three weeks. And that little, that little thing, that's it. And I really think this has done a great job at just getting any bacteria off my skin and whatnot. And again, I just use this one at night after I wash my face. And then I just put my moisturizer on and I'm good to go. But I do have dry to normal skin and both of these work fantastic for me. I definitely recommend both of these and they are great. When these are gone, I will be repurchasing the full sizes of this. I got the smaller ones because I just wanted to try them out, but I will definitely be repurchasing the full sizes of that. Then I've got a couple of brushes and this first one is the Real Techniques powder brush. You all know that I love Real Techniques. And my powder brush was just so beat up and every time I washed it, it just shed so bad. So I finally broke down and repurchased a new powder brush and it was this one and I love it and it's so soft and it's just perfect. And then this is the other brush. This I actually got in an Ipsy bag. This is from the brand Crown Brush and this is the C476 Crease Shadow Brush. So what you have on this end is kind of a stiff fluffy blending uh, shading brush and then you have like a pencil brush kind of on this end. If you've watched any of my recent videos you've probably seen me using this. This is the brush I choose to use probably nine times out of ten because it does have this pencil brush on one end and this kind of blending shader brush on the other. Really recommend this brush. And a couple of makeup items I have are this Bare Minerals Concealer Powder in Well Rested and then this Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Concealer. Um, I purchased both of these because I was out of the MAC Pro Longwear and I was out of my um, Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. This has definitely replaced my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I'm telling you that right now. The way it just looks and the way it goes on. I have it on today. I feel like this gives more coverage and it doesn't crease at all on me to where I know the Pro Longwear is not supposed to, but it creased more on me than this does. And I just, I think I prefer this. I honestly do. This, I, I'm not sure if I like this more than I like the Laura Mercier Brightening Powder, um, but I do really like this and will probably repurchase this once this is gone. I still need to repurchase the Laura Mercier Powder as well. Then a few lip items I have been loving are this Bite Beauty Matte Lip Crayon in, uh, Matte Cream Lip Crayon, sorry, in Truffle. And it is, um, pretty much the exact same color as Night Moth Lip Pencil. And, but it's, it's not going to suck all the moisture out of your lips. It's not that kind of a matte. And then the other one is what I have on my lips, and this is Grace Lipstick from Hourglass. I'm wearing it right now with Subculture Lip Pencil from MAC, which is basically the same color, but I just really like it. It's definitely like a true nude that I think looks good on my skin tone. Now, moving on to my misses for the month of October, and this first one is the Clinique Lash Power Feathering Mascara. This was a sample I got from Sephora when I purchased some things. Um... And the wand is very interesting, and it looks like it would do a great job, but however, when you wear this on its own, I feel like I just look like I have spider leg eyelashes, and they just, like, stick out. They don't, like, curl and sweep. They just, like, stick straight out. And they're very separated, and it doesn't really seem like it builds up any fullness at the roots of the lashes. It just really separates. I do kind of like to pair this with another mascara to really separate my lashes after I've built up a lot of fullness. So I just have kind of been taking and sweeping the brush through my lashes just to ev separate and even things out a little bit. And then this other one is this Ofra Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Universal. This is not a universal eyebrow shade. They say that this pencil, you can press harder, you can press lighter to get a lighter or darker color. However, if you are blonde or any shade of light brown, I don't really think you could use this. Because even with a very light touch, it seems very dark. Um, and that's pressing really hard. So you get dark and darker. It's very waxy as well, and I don't like that look in my eyebrows at all. It's so waxy that it just like, I'm like, oh my goodness. So that does it for my hits and misses for the month of October. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video. Bye.